Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Soldier debunks Trump fist pump fury. Saw insanely biased media firsthand. President Donald Trump once again did the unthinkable. He had the audacity to deliver a double fist pump as he walked away from Air Force One on Tuesday when he was en route to a 9/11 memorial ceremony at the Flight 93 crash site in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. So once again the media are upset. And what does the media do when they are upset with President Trump, which is most of the time, they immediately attacked him by saying the gesture is disrespectful. But one National Guardsman disagrees as he told the Daily Caller that everything was not exactly as it seemed. The POTUS landed at our Johnstown flight facility, a military installation owned by the reserves and the National Guard, he said, and, well, prior to his arrival. We were allowed to gather in this designated area to greet him prior to his boarding a helicopter and flying to the Flight 93 memorial service. The service member asked to remain anonymous as he told the Daily Caller that the double fist pump was a greeting and nothing more. As he approached us soldiers, Marines, and airmen, many were shouting and waving at him. That is when he did the double fist pump, he was genuinely happy to say hello and shake hands, and you could tell he was proud to be greeted by his military members. Donald Trump performs double fist pump as he arrives at 9/11 memorial service to honor Flight 93. Donald Trump has sparked fresh controversy by greeting supporters with a double fist pump gesture while arriving in Pennsylvania ahead of a memorial service for the September 11th attacks. The the service member then continued, "I am telling you this because not even an hour later, the press was criticizing him for doing that on hallowed ground, and he should have been more respectful of the heroes of Flight 93. Well." I got to see firsthand how biased the liberal media is towards him. They took a photo completely twisted it around to make him look bad, and it was nowhere near the truth. And our past president has the nerve to also criticize the POTUS for shunning the media. I wonder why he does. So, that is the truth of what really happened, not the story the media produced or the haters of our president. Isn't it great how the media grasps at anything to make the president look bad? Yet they forget their messiah and hero Barack Hussein Obama didn't even know what a corman was. If you think about it, if the media would have been this fierce with Obama, we would have probably not had to put up with eight years of his anti-Americanism, lack of patriotism, and outright disdain for our country. But they didn't say even 10% of what Obama really was, while they ripped Trump anew one day after day. Not sure many people can take that much abuse, and that's what the media is counting on. But hey, President Trump isn't just anyone, and he makes me wonder if the last four presidents were even trying when you consider all the great things he has done. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.